Okay, so it is our final USL Championship regular season match against Memphis. That will be uh, the live com for today. And just a real quick look at what's been going on uh, since the last episode. The crushing loss in the Open Cup final to Houston as the Dynamo won their second straight Open Cup. Um, since then, its results have been mostly positive. We did get uh, a friendly against Celtic in to keep my guys fit. And unfortunately, though, they wore the pink and gray uh, secondary jerseys. Didn't get to see the gray and white hoops, but that's okay. Um, priority has been on getting as many of my players as fit as possible since then. So I, I obviously want to make sure the first team is fit, but I want to have as many guys that are on the bench uh, as close to full fitness as possible. So I've been rotating a lot. Uh, for example, Red Bull 2 played the, the second team most of the match. Um, did pretty well. Gave up a goal in the 94th minute, but, you know, it is what it is. First team took the field, and we ran Memphis uh, out of First Tennessee Park, uh, the 4-0 win. Put the second team back on against uh, Tampa Bay. It actually was kind of a mix, and uh, we did get a win against the Rowdies, 3-1. Put the second team out against Atlanta United 2. And um, they got a goal on a set piece in the third minute, but we dominated the rest of the way uh, and ended up winning 3-1. to one. And that kind of puts us where we are now. Looking at the standings, we did go ahead and win the regular season championship title. Um, pretty, you know, going away. We won it, I think, after th like three or four matches ago. So uh, that was a good accomplishment. Uh, it does mean that we are set for the playoffs. We'll be home field advantage all the way through, which is important. Um, Eastern Conference, you can see, like probably we're looking at playing either Birmingham or Indy Eleven as the as the playoffs are now kind of starting to settle out. I think uh, there is still a chance that if we beat Memphis bad enough that Memphis will drop down into the 8-9 because I'm pretty sure. Let me check the rules first. I should have checked the rules before I started the video, but pretty sure that, yeah, the top 10 from each make it. So um, so if we beat Birmingham or if we beat Memphis bad enough and by enough goals, then but goal difference will drop them down to that like ninth spot, uh, eighth or ninth spot. So that would mean... Um, that we would do, we could see Memphis in the f first round of the playoffs, so um, which would be interesting because we just played them a couple weeks ago. We're playing them again today, and then we, we might play them in the, in the first round of the playoffs. So uh, we'll get used to them. They are kind of a rival. Memphis is sort of a rival. They are an in-state rival. Nashville is in Middle Tennessee. Memphis is out to the west. They're the only two uh, professional uh, soccer teams in Tennessee. So, you know, they do have a bit of a rivalry there. Um, looking at the squad, uh, as you, as I said, I'm trying to keep as many of the guys as fit as possible, and I've done a pretty good job, although Kofi Sarkoti did get injured in the win against Atlanta United 2. <laughs> the whole purpose for bringing him in was to give me depth, and now he's out for three weeks. That'll probably mean he'll miss at least two playoff matches. So if he came back, it wouldn't be until the conference finals. So that kind of stung a little bit. Uh, I went ahead and unregistered unregistered him, if I could talk, say words. Um, I, I brought in Alistair, Alistair Johnson. He is a, a Canadian international. Doesn't have any caps with the senior team, but he has tr been trotted out with the U-20s, U-22s. He played in the uh, Pan American tournament. Um, so he's not a terrible player. He's not going to give me much in the attack. But uh, he's got a very good determination, obviously, and he's a good tackler. So, you know, if nothing else, he's he'll help me kind of shore things up, you know, late in the game. Maybe I'm trying to see out a result. I can put him out there, and he'll uh, get me um, get me a good result there. So, um, yeah, and as you can tell, like, looking at my the first 11 obviously almost fully fit going to definitely play Nazarite and a cam full 90 today get them as close to 100 sharpness as i can and then mo my guys on the bench except for johnston who i just called in uh, most of them are pretty close to full sharpness and even a couple guys that are not dressing are pretty close to full sharpness. so 
being able which uh, the results up to the end of the season really kind of allowed me to work on getting guys fit so um so that's where we are um looking real quick at memphis see what they bring to the table um not much <laughs> they're not gonna be um they're not a pushover right they're, they are definitely capable of getting a result against me if if i don't finish right so like evans um his finishing rating is is not bad right Thir somewhere between 13 and 20 that's gonna be that so you know he gets his head on a ball um you know, a little mistake in the back. Who knows? They could be up one nothing, and then I'm having to f try and break down a, a camped-in defense. Um, Mark Birch has MLS experience. He's you know he's a little older, but you know he's a decent defender. Um, so they're yeah they're we should win this match, but they're good enough to where they could um, they could get a result. Did play them a couple weeks ago. We'll go look real quick at the at the uh, stats. Um, you know, we, we doubled them up shots wise, but you know, we scored, um, r r right before the half and then not long after the half. Yeah. And, um, 67% possession, you know, so we, we mostly controlled the match. They did get a lot of shots though. Um, so like seven, I, that may not be a lot, but I, I think of it as a lot. So, uh, we'll go ahead and play this thing, see what happens in the season. And then maybe we'll talk about what we're going to do with the playoffs. I haven't totally decided yet, but... Um, go there, relax, play your natural game. Um, go to opposition instruction. All right, here we go. Yeah, you look good in training, whatever. Certainly hope you can. Keep, yeah, obviously. All right, here we go. Memphis will be in the blue. Uh, and I, of course, am in my yellow. And I'm going to switch that out to the sideline view. I was watching some highlights earlier. Yeah, with it there. I'll wait for this highlight to be over. And that looks like that'll be it. Uh, sideline. Memphis with a highlight here. And Beckles scoops up that pass and drops it to Willis. And here we go. Love it, Stamaktar. You can tell Memphis is cat is uh they're already packing it in. Beckles. I think what I'm gonna do actually is Oh, Beckles with a shot. Um I am going to call for the overlaps. You usually do that when teams bunker in. Mukhtar with the corner. Puts it in. And Dunlady and McCarty to a cam. And we get another corner. What is that? Three corners in 30 seconds of game time. Mukhtar puts it in. And looks like it's headed away. Oh, Paul gives us a free kick. So they are just... <laughs> uh, they're playing for set pieces for us. Is that an instruction that you can do? It feels like they have given their team that instruction. Give the other team set pieces. Godoy to McCarty. Lizard for Beckles, who drops it to Mc, um, McCarty. Shot into the keeper's hands. And as of right now, up to Beckles. To McCarty. Drops it all the way back to Andy Baba, who attacks the space, then leaves it for Lovitz. And we're recirculating. Good. Beckles up to Leal. Puts it into McCann. McCarty, come on, guys. Somebody get me a shot with some guile. Mukhtar's free kick parried around the post. And here we go. Cam to Godoy. Let's reset here. Another free kick. Somewhat dangerous area. Leal shot ricochets. Any Baba to Lovitz. And of course, Lovitz. Lovitz is. Uh, I hope he never sees any of these. I'm not a Lovitz fan. 
I remember Burhalter started calling him in, and I never understood it. I think he even went to a gold cup, right? Didn't he play in a gold cup? Tar. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just can't. He can't get that last ball. Look at that. 12 shots in the first half hour. And six on target. Nothing to show. Memphis really isn't doing anything. I don't think they've had a highlight at all. Beckles out to the right, crosses it in, and a cam shot blocked. And looks like we're going to go into the half this way. Here, here's a highlight, maybe something promising here. Uh, all right, win that. Coolly drop it back to Willis and to Dinlotti, back to Lovitz. To McCarty. To Leal. Beckles to Leal. Um, and watch this. They'll probably score on there. One free kick outside my area. Love it's probably trying to get himself sent off. Alright, so, well, that was a eh, frustrating half. We had plenty of chances. Could not put any of them away. Keep going with what you've been doing, and we'll get the result. All right, here we go. Tell me to get creative. I keep giving that instruction because I, I need a goal here. Tar into the area. There it is on a free kick, of course. Nazarite rises above, heads it in. Yeah, the, he got past his mark. And all Memphis could do is watch. And we have another highlight straight away. Let's uh, let's make it two. Beckles wins that ball. McCarty drops to Godoy, to Mukhtar, to Cam, to Mukhtar. There we go. Good run by Beckles to McCarty. And another one to Beckles. And we got a corner. Tar's corner is up. And oh, there's a shot from Dunlotti. Got a couple shots. And we're at 20 shots, and we're not at the hour mark yet. Beckles out wide. Memphis. Uh, Mukhtar with a rocket from distance. That was probably, what, 25 yards? 25 to 30. And just gets it here. Gets himself just enough space to put his left foot on it. Mike Tar's got 13 goals playing at that number 10 spot. That is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give him a praise. Tell him, great job, guys. Way to go. All right, now let's see. Uh, Godoy, I can pull off. I'm going to bring in. Who should I bring in? Madranda. Yeah, he needs to get fit. Oh, and they've scored while I'm doing a sub. And what happened here, you idiots? Oh, Mukhtar, after playing so well earlier, gives it away to Evans and they score on the counter. I told you he could score. He can put away a chance. All right, so let's see. Bring in Johnston, let him start to get fit. I really, I mean, I'm not trying to lose this game, but my position is secure. I don't really need to worry about the result here today. Most It's mostly about getting my team ready. Um, yeah, I need to get Rios some time, so I'm going to pull Dunlotti out. Again, just trying to get my team set for the playoffs here. I'm going to use my last sub. Demand some more. Memphis still sitting back. 
Let me go ahead and go cautious though, just in case. And we're gonna have five minutes of stoppage. That's that's I can't believe that. That seems long. Cardi drops it to Willis, and we're going the other way. Oh, I don't baba. Let's get it going forward. All right. So that's the match. Two to one. Not um, not very exciting, I've got to say, but, you know, got a two to one win against a rival. Terrible mistake by Mukhtar. Gave that goal away. We've been leaking a little bit. It feels like we're not sharp. Mukhtar's won. His personality, first of all, his... his um, determination is not where I would like it to be. But I don't know. It's like he just... I feel like he doesn't really have that killer instinct that you want your best player to have. So, uh, I won't... We'll, looking ahead. I mean, it's, again, I'm not really... Not sure yet who is gonna... Looks like Memphis held the seven seed. So... We will be playing the winner of Birmingham and Indy 11. Uh, results against them this year. Uh, Indy 11. So Birmingham I just beat 3-0 to zero by a little over a month ago. Um, then we played them. Did we play them before? Oh, yeah, way at the beginning of the season. It's our second game. We beat them 2-0. to zero. Indy 11, we beat 6-1 to one at Indianapolis. Uh, and then when they came here, we beat them two to nothing. So shouldn't should kind of be well. There was a whole. There's no team that really should scare me. Now St. Louis is okay. They're not bad. They they could you know all the teams that are going to be in the playoffs could put me out if I don't finish like you saw today. Um, but I think what I'm going to do. I've thought about doing a marathon episode like an hour long or whatever, ever how long it takes to play all four. So I might do that, or I might just record each game, and then whichever the last one is, post that. So we'll see, but um, not a great result, but a good win. So I, uh, I'm i going to go ahead and sign off. I'll see you next time. And my Iron Manager series as Nashville SC tries to win the USL Championship in their season before moving up, being promoted to MLS, so I'll see you next time.